This old cart looks rough. It's a 48 volt club car precedent and we worked this thing hard, but we got a problem. This cart's used every day. These batteries are not lasting for us, but we got a solution for that. Let me show you what it is. We got an Oak Mo. Okay, Mo Power. That's what I'm talking about. Weed doggy. This thing's a 100 amp hour battery. We're going to put this bad boy in here. But as you see, we got that center console thing with all the electrical hitchy mows. We got to move that and make this bad boy fit. Now, thanks for Oakmo for sponsoring this video. But I also on the side, I bought a 48 to 12 volt converter so we can run our headlights. And I'm going to put in a little USB thing too. I bought that too. Now, they also sent us the charger. And where's it at? Fancy little digital display. Pollen, there's no extra charge for that. So let's get our key turned off and turn this from run to tow. So this cart's got four 12 volt batteries. Some of them have six, eight volt batteries to get your 48 volts. Now, what you need to do, keep in mind, this is wired in basically a circle. This is your main ground and this is your main power. Now, in order for the 12 volts to work, all they did was left the main ground and they put a hot wire here just pulling off of this battery only for your headlights. Yes, I know it says 51.2 volts down there, but it's 448 volt. Just trust me on that. That's why I bought this 48 to 12 converter to run our headlights. And this thing, what, I don't think 20 bucks or something. Pretty cheap. Again, that's your main positive. Here's your main negative coming out going into the box. When you go to do these, be sure your switches are off. Start with a negative cable. So give me a minute. I'm going to undo all these and get these batteries out of here. And I'll be right back with you. And I'll show you what we're going to do with that. Well, T-Bone, what's your plan with that? Well, I'll tell you what my plan is with it. I ain't got one. We're going to figure it out as we go. I just broke my dang glasses. Mrs. T is out there with super glue putting them back together. Don't worry. I'm not going to waste these batteries. I got to show y'all something. <coughs> Holy moly. <clears throat> so, hey to everyone, Mrs. T. Hi, y'all. She's got a rubber band in the super glue. <laughs> Ain't this the ugliest thing you ever seen? Mrs. T said it's cute. This thing's a darn 72 volt, but I know these batteries are no good, so I'm going to try to pick two of the best ones out of this cart and the four that we're taking out, and maybe we can make this thing run eventually. Y'all right. will see it. I'm taking the centerpiece out and then we're going to vacuum all this mess out of here. Come out of here. There we go. So basically this panel uh, with the controller and all them electro functional stuff, either got to move this way or that way. Let me get this thing cleaned up a little bit. So like I said, we got to move that panel way over here. It lifts up and down, but it's in these grooves. So what I'm going to do is cut this plastic right through there. I think I can get it to pull around and come out and we can move it on over. Then these wires that go back to the motor or whatever's back there, they go over this way. So I'm going to end up cutting out in here. And my cutting wheel will not get down in that groove. There's just not enough room. So let me show you what I got. Nope, not sponsored by these people. This is a Dremel 2000. I'll see if I can find a link and put it down in the description. But basically, I got a... Hot knife, man, hot butter. Now, how this is gonna work, I don't know. Ooh, that thing getting hot quick. See the lock? Does that hold it? It holds it on. Okay. Y'all holler if you see smoke. Let's get a light where I can see what, y'all can see what I'm doing, I can't. Is it gonna work? There we go. Oh, this should take a month of Sundays. It's working though. It's just now getting hot though. Oh, it's getting better. Oh, this smells so nice. Whee! Oh, now that this bad boy is hot, I'll tell you right now, it makes some time. Whoop, I can hold it right. Dagum! 
This is cool, man. Well, I don't know if I got it enough or not yet. Oh, yeah. Look at her. Coming out. Coming out. Hold on. All right, let's see how this goes up a little bit. There, look at there. What? Now all that dude's melt me out of trench right there. I might do the wizard wheel on that because I can get to it and then the wire move right over. Welcome to T-Bone After Hours. I'm T-Bone. Something's always broke around here. I'm tearing something up. Okay. Let's see if it'll come on over here out of the way. Oh, yeah. There's tons of room in here now. So these tabs sit up a little higher than this, and that battery's going to be sitting over here. So I'm going to trim these down and this, and there's one more back here. So after some cutting across here, yeah, I'm going to patch this back somehow. This wire here, I'm going to zip tie it over right here. And this is going to mount up right in here to the side. And I'll be able to put, slide my cover back down. It's going to look factory, y'all. Well, T-Bone, what did you do to our cart? I'm making it more gooder, baby. All right, well, I got that bad boy mounted in there. And guess what I used? Sheetrock screws. The duct tape of screws. All right, so I just drilled a hole here, put a screw in, drilled a hole here, put a screw in, and it's tight now. So, a little trimming. This bad boy is cool. I'm going to put a link to this thing right down in the description for you. It's a lot of, I mean, a lot of fun to use. I did a little trimming and fixing, and this bad boy, look at that. That's like factory, man. A little adjusting to pop my screw back in. That's good. Perfect. So that hole is to put this bad boy in. And we're going to run the wires and stuff back through there. This 48 to 12 controller. I'm going to run... The, bat, the, the red and black wires go over to the 48 volt battery, okay? And then these two wires are your 12 volt output, which will go hook into this wire and to ground. And that'll run our headlights. This thing gonna be a little heavy, but not as heavy as those big batteries that were in here. And slippery in. Tell you what, I bet sheetrock screws will hold that in. <laughs> so now that the battery's in, I mounted that little controller right there. That's the 48 to 12. So all I did is use some old trailer wiring that I had because we're just going to run over here to run some 12 volt stuff. Yes, it's fused. Uh, it comes with that little reducer box. So my yellow is going to be my hot wire. My brown's going to be my ground wire. Kind of rhymes, don't it? So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and hook these up. And uh, just a little simple butt connectors. That's it. The other side of it is going to hook into the blue wire, which is the hot for the 12 volt for the headlights. That's it. Also on that hot lead, that is for the golf cart itself. And then I'm going to mount the charger right there and hook it in also. So I uh, just butt connected all these things together, and here we go. I'm, 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 I'm. <laughs> You'll be all right. Next thing we got to do is route all this from the dash back here. Whee. All right, so we got to fish 8,700 feet of wire all up under the cart, all the way to the back. I don't even know where is the hole. 8,700 foot. I don't know where it's going. I'm just feeding it through. All right. Let's see if we can fit this in. We need to take the old dry rotted sticker off of there. And it's got a little thing in my bob. You know, winger nut right there. It's going to look factory, man. Well, Mrs. T said that sticker was too dang ugly. So she got the heat gun laying down there, and I'm taking a break.
break. It looks more gooder. Let's get it together. So I tell you what, the reason we don't care how pretty this cart is, let me show you. The whole front end, you can see the doggone shocks through the holes. When we bought this cart, it only had three tires on it. The left front was completely missing. The whole frame was cracked across here. Somebody hit the guided on it before. And that's why the front end is white and the back end is green. Because this thing is just pieced together with whatever we could find. But she's been a workhorse for many years for us. Been a great cart. Yeah, that's, that's, that's perfect. I got to pull them wires through. So I mounted that charger over there. I'm fixing to hook up the ground side. I got four wires to hook up there. A couple of wires. This is the charging wire. And the one I'm going to put closest to the battery is going to be the main ground if I can get it to bend around there. It might spark, y'all. Always makes me nervous. That's a lot of voltage. Come on, get in there. Now there's nice covers they send you with this that snap on to protect that. And we are gonna bolt this battery down. We just wanna see if something's gonna happen or not. We don't know. Ah! Wait, where's the rest of it? All right, we're gonna hook this in just so we can see the digital display and I'm going to eaten all this up in a minute I just want to see if it moves and see what the how does this thing go ain't there a thing no not there not there not there there it is alright let's see if this thing I'm going to hit the button Ooh, there we go. What we got? What we got? 100%. Let me show you guys this button right quick. Got an on-off button right here. A little simple button. Just push it on, push it off. It's on right now, as you just saw. Let's see if she moves. I'm going to cut the key on. Y'all hold your breath. Does it work? Uh-oh. Wait a minute. Oh. I got to hit the button in the forward. Here we go. Let's see what's going to happen. Uh-oh. Y'all come here and look at this. You know why I wouldn't move? Wait a minute. You got to do this. Duh. All right. Let's hit the gas pedal. Whoa. I didn't run over everything. Let me put it together. Well, there she is, all cleaned up. Got the charger mounted, battery cover is on. Got our digital display and our old display. It works too. That's amazing. <laughs> wow, what a difference. Thank you, Okmo. Okay, more power. That's what we're gonna call this thing. Oakmo got a discount code for $365 off of a 48 volt. We've got a discount code for 500, I think, and $4, $504 off a of 36 volt. Man, check this out. Sorry about my shadow. Like we said, this cart never gets cleaned up, but I'll tell you what, it is a powerhouse now. Unbelievable. That fit in there so nice. Look at all the extra room too. Turned out pretty good. I did a little research on Oakmo. Yep, I checked them out. Turns out they've been in business doing this since the year 2000 is when they were founded. They got over 20 years of experience doing these batteries. So far, I'm very pleased. The difference in the weight with this thing is amazing because less weight is more power, more faster. Mo gooder. Okay, Mo. Wow, the acceleration, man. 
This is cool, y'all. I'm gonna tell you what right now. Kick the tires and light the fires. Tell you what, this thing a whole butt. Tell you what, thanks for tuning in to T-Bone After Hours. I'm T-Bone. Had a lot of fun doing this video. Thanks to Oakmo for sponsoring this video. Guys, look, click those links down in the description. Click that subscribe button. How about a thumbs up? Share these videos with your friends. Send them to everybody. Even if they ain't your friends, I don't care. Just send them to somebody. We'll see you soon. I know I'm going to tear something up soon. We don't. Oh.